What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, The Great Hustle, a.k.a. Hell Real, a.k.a. Rollo, coming back with another video. Yes, it's 12.21 in the morning. And on today's video for The Hustle, we're doing overnight delivery over the road box truck for Amazon. So, pretty much as I promised this channel is pretty much just like gig related for like those little jobs that anybody always wanted to question like oh I wonder what this job would be like or what this job would be like um, I already done shipped Instacart I've done Frito-Lay I've done Amazon logistics for it's like working for an independent contractor and just driving the uh, Amazon Prime logo sprinter up advance. I've done it all. Just for people who had questions because I had questions myself, you know, like exactly like how much money do these guys make? Like, is it worth it? What type of labor do they go through? Um, you can check out my other uh, videos that I uploaded already. Right now I'm heading to the logistics center. That's actually in the same building <laughs> where I did the uh, the uh, Amazon Prime home delivery last week. You know, before I pretty much said, hey, this is a cool experience, but I'm done. I'm only doing it for YouTube. So I had to get me a new badge made. I had to uh, send in all my information. <clears throat> uh, anytime you're doing commercial uh, vehicle delivery, you have to get what's called a DOT medical exam. People call it a DOT exam. Um, most employers cover it. If not, it's $105 for you to get the exam. It takes about 40, 45 minutes. Pretty much ask you a bunch of health questions and pretty much determine if you're okay to drive over the road or not. The certificate is only valid for two years. So every two years, you have to get it renewed. So, I had to have that, do a background check, drug test, social security card, and I don't know about you guys or what state you're in, but in Missouri, you need to have a Class E chauffeur's license, and in Illinois, it needs to be a Class D in order to uh, get this job, because you're going to be driving a 24-foot or a 26-truck uh, 24 or 26 foot uh, dry van truck uh, it's going to be a Hino it's a straight truck automatic uh, some have air brakes, some don't diesel fuel so you need to keep that in mind now if you're in Missouri if you already got a regular standard uh, license then you don't need to take the road test all you got to do is take the written test uh, answer 19 out of 25 questions correct, you get the license. Now in Illinois, you got to pass the written and the uh, road test. So once you pass the test, go ahead and shoot on over up to U-Haul and rent you a box truck for like $19 or like $24 for that day and go ahead and come back and take your road test. But yeah, man. So anyway... What we're pretty much doing is uh, delivering the uh, packages from Amazon to the U.S. Postal Mail because Amazon is pretty much trying to take over the whole logistics game for us, like delivery. They want to be the only delivery source you go to. Not FedEx, not UPS, not DHL, none of those guys. They want to only be Amazon. So what Amazon has been doing for the last really like two years it's just been like bringing in all type of independent contractors in and it's just blowing up another thing too whoever you wind up driving for or if you're an independent contractor uh, you're going to have to download the Amazon Relay app this is what it looks like uh, it's for iOS or Apple uh, pretty much you're going to get an invitation code from your employer or the company that you're driving for. 
or for Amazon. Sorry about that. And uh, you're pretty much going to create an account with your email. And then you're going to be able to look at the load history, what loads you complete, what loads you have assigned to you. And you're pretty much going to need this app to scan in your, your freight packages when you load it up on your tractor or your box truck. Uh, it also has a built-in GPS signal. So I advise you to bring your battery because it definitely eats up your battery too as well. But yeah, man, that's what this is, man. I'm about to uh, go ahead and get in, get checked in. I'm going to try to see if I can uh, film some of the uh, warehouse. But I doubt it because it's just super super confidential man it's different versus at night versus in the daytime like versus the daytime is all relaxed there was a couple people making youtube videos and whatnot but at the night man it's just i heard it's just a little more top secret but man stay tuned man i hope this video you know helps out anybody out there that got questions or whatever subscribe man because like i said man i do more than just you know over road jobs i do any type of job that people have thoughts about, you know what I'm saying? I had a guy inbox me, man. It was like, yo, man, the Frito-Lay job really answered a lot of my questions because most people wonder, like, back in the day, Frito-Lay was really good for us, like, how they paid you. Uh, you would have a base pay, and then you would make 7% commission off of whatever your weekly sales was. So let's say your best, your base pay was, like, three, four, five hundred dollars but, but you sold like fourteen thousand dollars worth of chips for that week off your 10 11 12 stores man you you have a nice check for a week but they don't do that no more they do some kind of weird algorithm and it's just a whole bunch of man but basically they fuck you that's all i gotta tell you on that part but i mean you'll find out man and some people will be okay with that money and some people are like nah man for that type of work i need more but yeah man uh, next time I come back, man, I'm going to have some uh, footage of the truck, footage of the freight, and let you guys know exactly uh, what city I'm going to tonight. Okay, guys. So, I'm in the fulfillment center. We're getting ready to load up my box truck. These are all my pallets. Now, I have to check in with Amazon. So, I pretty much scanned everything on my Amazon Relay app, and then I'm good to go. Woo. So it's like six in the morning. I got one more stop left. Athens, Illinois. Woo. I'm doing this all for y'all, man. What up, guys? It's eight o'clock in the morning. I just got done. Uh, let's see. I started at three. I mean. I started driving at three, but I had to get there at one o'clock because I had to do all the paperwork and stuff like that though. But normally what they will say is you will get your route information uh, beforehand. So when you come in, you will just scan it. Hey, check out what the people from Amazon and then you be on your way. So you get paid by the route when you do freight. It's not like an hourly rate or anything like that. So depending on what you're transporting determines how much you're getting paid. So for the box truck, uh, I think the lowest rate we had was like 120, but that was like if you was doing something local, maybe like two stops to be paid $120, it was only probably like two hours worth of work. So it's like 60 bucks an hour, uh, all the way up to $300, but you was taking like a one shot to like Iowa, like Indiana or something like that. So I mean, it's not really bad, man. I mean, it's driving. It's not like 150 stops. If he was like doing like the uh, flex driving, I mean, it's 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 something to do, you know. Yeah, man. I hope this uh, video gave you guys like some kind of insight on what you would think about, you know, driving some driving a box truck overnight for Amazon. It's your boy, Gray Hustle. I'm about to hit up this jack in the box, Jared. I'm out.